Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from Carrot Art, a company that offers a beautiful variety of legally licensed diamond paintings. They actually sent over a couple of kits to me to share with you all with their new square drills. And so I'm gonna do one of those unboxings today and another one of those unboxings here in the future. So thank you to Carrot Art for sending this over. Um, I purchased a kit from them that I'm hoping to work on soon um, a little while back and they saw that and were like, hey, you wanna try our squares too? So I said, sure, why not? <laughs> so uh, this kit that I have to share with you all today, this first one, um, this is, Mermaid. There is the artwork. The artist is Femke Deborah. Deborah. And um, yeah, so they've got the image on the side and the size and whatnot. And there's some info on the box, like instructions for how to diamond paint and the kit contents and whatnot. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Uh, the ones that they sent me are a little bit on the larger side. Um, depending on the kits that you look at, they'll sometimes have multiple sizes available and often they'll also be offering the kits in both round and square drills. Now, um, I believe it was at the time of this filming that this kit in this size and with this drill shape is still available. So I will be sure to link directly to it on the website if you are curious to take a look. Um, but I feel like sometimes, yeah, sometimes like a particular size or drill shape might be out of stock. So um, they did let me know that uh, at the request and from feedback from their customers that they decided to forego um, by default putting toolkits in with the kits because uh, their shop tends to market a bit more towards like experienced diamond painters that likely already have plenty of tools at their disposal and don't necessarily need more, um, which I appreciate the thought that goes into wanting to minimize plastic waste. I totally can appreciate that. Um, but let's take a look at this canvas. So it's, it's rolled with the image out. Let's take a look at this beauty. So like I said, this one's going to have square shaped drills. Ooh, she's cute. <laughs> Who doesn't love a cute little mermaid? Now, just in case you were wondering, it is certainly possible, and I actually do know that this particular artist is licensed with more than one diamond painting company, and that is that can be totally above board. It to just depends, totally just depends on what is in their specific contracts. Um, all of Carrot Arts diamond paintings are legally licensed, which means that the artists have both given their permission for the use of their artwork by Carrot Art, and they're also being compensated as well. So you we have two bags of diamonds here. We'll take a closer look at these here in just a little bit, but I'm going to set them off to the side for now. There was a roll of washi tape tucked in the box here, branded. And uh, so I like to use washi tape around the border of my canvas because sometimes, sometimes there'll be just a little bit of poured glue that goes just past the edge of the drill field. Usually it's really minimal. Like you can just barely see like a couple millimeters um, there, but I like to cover that up with washi tape because that prevents dust or dirt from sort of getting um, accumulated in those spots. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. That's a nice little inclusion, even though, like I said, they're otherwise not including any other basic toolkit elements in these kits. So that is intentional. It's not an oversight. We do have a large sticker sheet included in here. There's the artist's name, Femke Deborah, or Deborah, and uh, Mermaid is the title of this piece. There's the original artwork. Isn't she cute? <laughs> um, this is 80 by 60 centimeters, and I'm sure that's just the kind of the model number, the unit number on it. I don't remember if this one was offered in multiple sizes. I think it might have been. I know that it was offered in both round and square drills, and they sent it to me in square so that I could kind of test that out. Um, we have a set of pre-cut stickers here, which since they're pre-cut, that's going to make kitting up go really, really quickly, which is nice. 73 colors. Holy cow, that is colorful. That includes a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ABs. Holy cow, nine ABs. ABs are a special kind of diamond that I will tell you a little bit more about when we're, when we're actually looking at the diamonds over there in just a little bit. Now, uh, so we have the inventory number on the side and then the symbol, which nice that they keep those kind of in order there. And then the number on the right is, uh, I'm sure that that's the DMC color code. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. It comes from the DMC brand of floss and cross stitch. 
And so those colors will be consistent across the board. Sometimes there'll be like dye lot variations and stuff, but for the most part, you know, the number 310 is always gonna be black, like in this company and other companies and stuff like that. So uh, first glance, I, I see a couple of symbols that we'll check on the canvas that might be a little similar, like uh, this kind of black symbol on a kind of tealish green background, that one too. We'll just, we'll take a look. We'll see how the printing is on the canvas. Speaking of the canvas, so um, if you notice that your canvas like this one might wanna stay rolled up just a little bit, that's honestly extremely normal with canvases when they've been rolled. It just kind of happens in transit. To help with that, I like to just peel back the plastic cover about halfway each direction. That's also gonna get rid of what looks like wrinkles in the canvas, but it wasn't at all. It's just where the plastic cover had shifted on the glue. If you look, that glue on the right is perfect condition. It's poured glue super super sticky uh so anyway i've peeled that back about halfway now i'm gently and slowly going to kind of roll it back down that's going to help this lay a little bit more flat you can also put it like in between um like under a mattress or like under something heavy just give it some time just give it some time also with time just putting diamonds down that'll help it lay flat as well so that already helped a ton let's do it the opposite direction as well kind of looking at the canvas as I do this, and it does look like it's printed pretty clearly. Um, but using a light pad is always an option if you want a little bit of extra help. Carrot Art did tell me that they, they do hand chart their canvases. I don't know if they start with like a computer render base and then go back through and um, like perfect it with hand charting, but they did say that they, um, do part of their rendering with uh, hand charting, which I, I really appreciate. And I feel like you can tell often when you look at details like faces and stuff like that. And I feel like you can see that. So let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. So up here at the top, we have their branding and their tagline for Carrot Art. Then we've got a legend over here at the top left. You can also see that the edges of the canvas, they're scalloped and they're finished. So I'm guessing we're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Uh, the back is kind of that, that soft lint material um, that's kind of popular right now. And uh, they use poured glue, like I mentioned, which does seem to be pretty sticky. That legend takes up basically the, the whole height of the canvas. Uh, we've got the thumbnail of the original artwork and the title and the artist's name. And then there's the unit number and the size. Again, this has been legally licensed from the artist. Most companies, if they have licensed the artwork, they're going to brag about it. You're not going to have to hunt for it. You're going to see the artist's name on things and they're going to say that their artwork is licensed. So that's that's one, one FYI. Here's their website carrot.art if you live in the US or a country in another country and you're a native like English speaker is your primary English is your primary language sorry mixing up my words there um <clears throat> I believe they have a feature where you can trans have it just display the website for you in English, like in US dollars or whatever. Um, but I also like you can use a browser like Google Chrome that'll automatically translate websites to the language of your choice for you as well. Uh, so here we've got a discount code for 10% off, which is a nice little inclusion. They do have sales. They do run sales, which is nice. Uh, we have a schematic over here on the right side of the canvas as well. Not the thumbnail. A canvas this size, you guys, I'm gonna recommend that you use those stickers that came on the sheet. Whether you kit up your diamonds uh, into like uh, plastic storage containers, like hard storage containers, or if you work out of the baggies, looks like these came in uh, resealable, like Ziploc style baggies. Um, I recommend putting the symbols on there so that that way you don't have to look at the legend every single time you're going to pick a color. This is a big canvas. I feel like you're not going to want to have to like hop over to the legend on either side of the canvas, especially like when you're working in the middle and stuff. So that's just, that's just one idea, one suggestion. I virtually never look at the legend on the canvas when I'm working. Um, cause I just, uh, that's one way you can save time quite honestly. Uh, let's measure it. We're at, um, let me make sure we're actually flat here. Okay. So we're at about 79 centimeters. It's listed as 80 left to right. I'm not worried about it. You guys, I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room, especially when they offer canvases in both square and round drills. And we're just a tick shy of 60 centimeters top to bottom. I'm definitely calling that true to size. Like I said, I give companies wiggle room, um, especially when they're, uh, when they're offering canvases in both round and square drills. Because do you know that square drills are actually a tiny bit smaller than round drills are? Square drills are what, 2.5 millimeters and round are 2.7 to 2.8. So let's look at the canvas. 
Yeah, so we're gonna have a mix of color blocking and confetti. This is a really good example of color blocking. We've got a lot of this symbol, the same symbol in a small area. So you'll be able to use a multi-placer in there and have that color in your tray for a while. Um, areas of color blocking like that tend to go fast uh, because you can, you know, like I said, you're multi-placing, have that color in your tray for a while. And then up here is a little bit of um, more what we would maybe call confetti. There's a lot more color changes in a small area. That's gonna take a little longer because you'll probably be primarily single placing, changing out that color in your tray more often. But the trade-off is that you're gonna get more detail when you've got confetti like that. It's gonna definitely let you get more detail. So I like a mix of both of my canvases because, oh my gosh, a big section of color blocking like this, that's going to keep things moving. I'm going to be able to zip right through that. Uh, but confetti is going to keep it interesting. And like I said, give us that really pretty, really pretty level of detail. So lots of pretty greens and blues in here. The printing is really clear. Uh, here's some of these symbols that I wanted to look at. Um, it's like a black symbol on a green or a teal background. The printing is honestly very, very, very clear. I do not see myself mixing those up. I really appreciate that. There's no blur to these canvases. Some of the colors are a tiny bit saturated, but that is me being really darn nitpicky, you guys, <laughs> honestly. I think the printing on this is great. I think the colors are so happy. It has summer vibes. So whether it's, you know, if it's summer where you live right now, or if it's winter where you live and you're like, I just want a little taste of summer, this might be the canvas for you because Gosh, it is happy. It's so happy. <laughs> Do you think she's on like she's on like one of the Hawaiian islands? Beautiful. So yeah, symbol printing is really clear. Happy to see that. Let's look at these diamonds. We've got two bags here. Um, and we've got like the unit number on both of them, which is convenient as well. So we'll start with this one. So just to give you an initial look here. So the baggies, um, so this first number here, that's gonna go with um, the number on the left here. And then the 964 is right here, that's the DMC code. So we have both those numbers on there. And the number in the bottom here is, uh, I'm guessing ounces. I'm guessing that these were weighed out by, by ounces. So um, hopefully we have plenty left over. Look at those pretty, pretty aquas and greens. That's so happy, so, 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 so happy. Uh, like I said, they uh, they they wanted to see what I thought of their square diamonds um, because the first kit I bought from them was uh, had round diamonds, and these to me at first glance these look like resin. Though I am not an expert, so please don't quote me on that, you guys. Um, they look really consistent in size and shape, which is I'm happy to see that. Um, I don't see like a lot of trash or anything like that. Ooh, here's a bunch of our special drills. I'll save these to share with you guys in just a bit. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that how many we had? One, two, three. Yep. Okay. I'm going to show you those ABs here after we look at the regular colors. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then we just have this really, really pretty, like very oceany, aqua, and tropical colors, right? I love that purple. Oh my gosh. So happy. I do really like what I'm seeing of the drill quality. So that's that first bag. We'll come back to those special drills. And then we have this big bag over here. Jeez, that back there, maybe that's one of the sky colors. Because <laughs> this whole sky was all like one, one color, one symbol there. So we have some purples and grays, a little bit of that black 310. Yeah, a couple bags of that one. Darker colors are the ones that I usually look at to see like, okay, do we look like there's lots of like trash drills, unusable drills, drills with tabs on the side. Um, these are a tiny, tiny, they almost look a tiny bit dusty like some of these drills do, but sometimes it's just the effect of the Ziploc bags, honestly. So, lots of pretty colors. All right, let me take a look at these, this one, that we have like three bags of this one. 747 is that 747 yeah that's that light blue color up here nice so sometimes with ziploc bags resealable bags like this sometimes i'll run into static like there you can see a little bit of it where some of the drills are running to cling to the side it's not terrible uh it's highly climate dependent and weather dependent <clears throat> if you run into static like that I, there's lots of different suggestions out there different people have different ideas for how to kind of combat static to be honest with you, when it's pure static like that, I just will cut up a piece of dryer sheet and stuff it in the bag. That's what I find to be the most helpful for me, but you kind of just gotta figure out what works for you. So 
Anyway, that's kind of a look at the, the, the regular colors that came with this kit. Let me show you these special drills. So we have nine bags, nine different colors rather, um, of AB diamonds. So AB. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty like iridescent color shift effect. You can see that these, if you look at the tops of the, the diamonds, they're super, super sparkly. Uh, they have kind of an iridescent color shift effect, like I said, and uh, they're even more sparkly than regular diamonds are. It's gonna dry your eye to the areas. These have been charted on the canvas and uh, it's gonna highlight those areas, even pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them. The coating also, it's not just like, like this isn't just a pure white coating. If you look at the coating, it's often got some other colors in it, like pinks, blues, greens, that sort of thing. So super sparkly options. We've got nine of these. I'm gonna try my best to help uh, find and show you guys where these are gonna be on this canvas. Um, and it's gonna take a minute though, cause there's a lot. So first let's start with maybe these like pink colors. So the symbols I'm looking for, we have these different three shades of pink which one of my favorite colors, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> uh, we have all three kind of sprinkled in these florals. Like that's gonna be some really pretty shading. Those are really nice areas to have those kinds of colors. A little bit over here, the flowers on the rocks. <clears throat> and then as well, um, a little bit in her top that she's wearing. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, just kind of sprinkled throughout. The whole thing is not ABs, but it's sprinkled throughout there. Um, a little bit in her lips and all three of those pink ABs in her hair, like the lightest pink you're seeing is the lightest pink AB. I really love that. I think that's really, really perfect charting for those pink ABs. Yes, A plus on that charting for those ABs. Uh, these purples, so the symbols we're looking for, let's see that slash and that square. <clears throat> so, we have some of the lighter purple actually highlighting in her tail. This lighter purple, a little bit of highlighting, it's sprinkled through her tail. Um, and then a little bit sprinkled up here, which actually, that oh, that's her fin. That's her tail fin, okay. A little bit up there, a little bit of the darkest purple sprinkled right in here. A little bit of the darkest purple right here and here as well. And then let's see, I bet in the hummingbird. Mm -hmm. So um, these black slashes here, that's the lighter purple AB. And then we have a little bit of the darker purple AB, just in a couple of spots. Ooh, a lot on the hummingbird's tail, actually. We have that darker purple AB. Super pretty, love those. Okay, we then have a couple of shades of green AB, these two shades of green, and these symbols that we're looking for. Let me see. These ones are the ones that for some reason I'm like, these are gonna be harder to find. <laughs> uh, so we do have the lighter green AB doing some highlighting in her hair. And uh, let me see some more of the lighter green AB over here. I'm looking for the darker green. It's hiding from me, you guys. A little bit of the darker green sprinkled in the plant leaves, just a little bit. <clears throat> And let's see, let's see, let's see. Lighter green again, highlighting a bit in her hair and it's a little bit in the hummingbird actually. And highlighting on the top of her hair. Oh, here's some of the darker green. Okay, I found some of it. Some through here and a little bit through the darker greener parts of her hair. So just sprinkled throughout. So those are our two green ABs. And then finally we have a blue AB and a white AB. <clears throat> and there's a good amount of the white AB actually, just a little bit of this blue AB. Uh, so the blue, I feel like there's not that much blue. Well, that's not necessarily true. I was gonna say in like the accent parts of the kit, I don't feel like there's as much blue. Um, let's start with the white though. The white is sprinkled through here and sprinkled through here. There's some of the white sprinkles. So kind of, is this where kind of the waves are cresting? Yes. So that's where some of the white AB is going to be. And then our blue AB. The blue AB is in similar spots. Some of the lightest blue parts of the waves is our light blue AB. Okay. A little bit sprinkled right here. And then 
Do we have any? We have some white ABs in her eyes. That's pretty. And some blue ABs actually as well. And a couple of blue ABs in the hummingbird, I think. And some white ABs in the clouds. There's a good amount of white AB right here. Is that blue AB? No. Okay. And some white AB up here in the clouds. So you guys, that AB placement, I love. I really, really love, especially those pinks and purples are probably my favorites and the greens in her hair. So I remember thinking that when I, I unboxed that first kit from Carrot Art, um, which like I said, I'll link to it below. Um, <clears throat> it was called Magic Encounter and it had lots of ABs as well. And I was really, really happy with the AB placement. I thought it was really pretty. Uh, so you guys, uh, this is a beauty. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger kit, so it's going to be a little bit more of a time commitment, but it does have some color blocking that hopefully will mean that it goes, goes quickly in some of those areas. And it does look nicely rendered from what I'm seeing. I think that her face and a lot of like her hair and the different flowers that are going on, I feel like are so incredibly pretty. And the hummingbird looks absolutely beautiful as well. So I think this is going to turn out really, really nicely. Just to give you a quick recap, the piece, the name of this piece is Mermaid. The artist is Femke Deborah, and it's 60 by 80 centimeters. This one is uh, with square diamonds, but I think that there may be round diamonds available as well. It'll tell you which sizes and, and drill shapes are in stock when you go to the listing. There's a drop down there that you can click on and look through. I definitely re recommend going and taking a look and also just browse what they have. They've got a really nice variety and really nice selection. Um, so go see if something catches your eye. It's all licensed and um, I'm hoping to work on and complete one soon so that I I can give you um, an honest review of what it's like to actually work on one of these canvases and give you some feedback in that sense but hopefully this unboxing was still helpful for you and gave you a sense for what you can expect if you were to to unbox one of these kits yourself so or buy one of these kits for yourself so you guys um thank you so much for watching thank you again to carrot art for sending this over for me to share with you all let me know if you have any questions so i'll do my very very best to help um take a look on their website and maybe i guess if you sign up for their emails um you might be able to like get a discount code or something like that to save you a little bit of money when you purchase i'm not an affiliate or anything like that but um they did send this to me for review but hopefully i was able to give you a really honest and an authentic opinion there. So anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you want to follow along with my different diamond painting projects and whatnot. <clears throat> I tried to share a lot of different content here on my channel, um, especially when I'm not feeling a bit under the weather with my froggy voice. So thanks for bearing with me with that. I hope you guys have a really wonderful rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.